સાથે પીઝા આઈ એમ કાંચના જયકુમાર સમોસા ટેબલસ્પૂનલીરટ One tablespoon of finely diced cashews, a few coriander leaves, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one tablespoon of chopped ginger and green chilies, half a lemon, we will be taking the juice out of it, some oil to fry. And for the outer cover, we need 3 cups of all-purpose flour or maida. 3 teaspoons of ghee 1 teaspoon of ajwain seeds some salt and water let's prepare the outer cover we are going to add salt i'm going to add ajwain seeds these ajwain seeds are going to help in digestion and they are going to give a beautiful flavor for the samosas and one important point is i'm going to add hot ghee i've just left it in the microwave and removed it it's very hot and this is going to help me make my samosas more crispier now see that the oil or ghee is getting spread to all this flour so that you get a crumb like texture bread crumb like texture texture should come that should be the thing that that will uh, indicate that the oil has spread all over the flour and then we are going to add water little by little and make a stiff dough dear friends now look at this we have got this kind of a dough actually this is how the dough should be it should not be like uh, the chapati dough very smooth and soft what we we'll have to do is we'll just be leaving this for another 10 to 15 minutes by then they will uh, form into a nice soft dough for us to make the samosas while this is resting here for 10 minutes we will go ahead and prepare the filling pour some oil i would love to have the cumin flavor so i am adding jeera seeds this is absolutely optional if you don't feel like you you don't want this flavor you play, you can just avoid it then i'm adding the ginger and green chilies our green chilies ginger and the cumin are uh, sorted well to that we are going to add the onions uh, remember like only these needs to get uh, sorted because the rest of them are already cooked so we just need to add the powders and uh, salt them for few minutes we are not going to cook them for a long time add salt at this stage add the cashews we are adding all the powders one by one fresh carrots add two spoons of water for the carrot to get cooked 
Let the heat or the flame be in uh, very low. It should not be. It should not be in high. Otherwise, they will get burned. So keep them in low. And I want to tell about these potatoes. We need not uh, mash them. I'm going to use a masher. But remember, we need not mash them uh, so, uh, so fine. Like um, otherwise, they will uh, spoil the texture of the samosa. They will become very soft. So what we are going to do is we are going to just make it. Uh, like uh, something in between it's going to be an in between stage they will just break up but not really or if you're convenient in making uh, cutting them into cubes or something like that you can uh, do that now add the mashed potatoes lastly add the cooked green peas Top it up with coriander leaves. Squeeze the lemon. So our filling is done. Now we will fill it up into our samosas. Now after 15 minutes, look at this dough. It has just gelled well. And now you cannot see those partitions. See, now they are looking into a small one ball. This is how we need. We are going to make some small rounds and we are going to straight away roll out our samosas. Now take one round like this, flatten it just the same way as we roll out our chapatis. This is some dry powder so that you are you will be you will find it very easy to roll out your uh, samosas because the dough is not very soft that's why you are not able to easily run through it so we have got one thin chapati cut it in between just take two halves of this yes now look at this we are making a cone one layer is on the other see the edge One spoon of filling. See that the filling goes right up to the bottom. Yes, it's done. Normally, when you're doing a corn, what will happen is you get a bigger flap the side. We need to seal the samosa. For sealing, just wet your hands with water so that your dough becomes little flexible. Pull it. Make a frill. And look at this. Your samosas are ready. Now one more we will see. I am making a cone like if you feel this will also open then no problem you just put some water here and stick so now your dough doesn't open you have got a nice cone and to the cone drop in your gravy See, once they get roasted, what will happen is you will get a lot of space here and that time you will feel like, oh my, there is no feeling here. So now, right now, you just push it 
to the underneath and you're going to pull this make a small frill pull it here Now see our samosas are getting ready. We are going to follow one small step. Now these samosas are going to go into the microwave oven for 3 minutes. You know why? We are going to remove all the excess water in this so that they are going to be more crispy and they don't absorb more oil when we are going to fry them in the oil. Now we are going to fry the samosas. Heat the oil. See that they are in medium heat or medium flame. So that your samosas don't get roasted overall and uh, they become very soggy afterwards. So what we are going to do is medium heat. This is an important point. And look at these samosas. They are from the microwave oven. So they are like something semi-cooked. Now we are going to drop them into this oil. We need to wait for the samosas to get cooked because we are going to increase the flame. They are going to just turn brown but they are going to lose the crispiness. So we will have to wait and cook them in medium flame. Look at our samosas. They are turning brown. Now the crispiness is going to be definitely protected because it was microwave. Our crispy samosas are ready. Just drain the oil and move them to a vessel with a tissue or a kitchen towel. So dear friends, look at this crispy samosas. They are just ready. And as I told you, look, I am not finding too much of oil on these samosas and you want to see how crispy it is it's really crispy so try these crispy samosas right now remember those are to pizza always enhancing your taste buds see you bye bye